Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Hayabusa, is all about hand fighting tactics and strategies to help you land your strikes more effectively. All right, in today's episode, we're breaking down hand fighting. And again, we've seen guys like John Jones, Daniel Cormier in the UFC who use hand fighting tactics very well. So I'm gonna break down some higher level ways to use hand fighting and to land your strikes as well. A lot of people think hand fighting as just a defensive strategy. Yes, it's very good defensively because I'm gonna have these guys in the background going because with the hand fighting, you're shutting down your opponent's strikes, okay? So as soon as you hand fight and you're able to pressure, that is one of the most effective things. Now, you notice with hand fighting, and I'm using the guys in the back to kind of demo what I'm saying, right? When you're going into hand fighting, right? Before you even can hand fight, you have to control your opponent's hands. And what happens is, depending on your opponent, if you're with someone whose hands are moving well like this, it's very difficult to just reach out and catch them because then you're gonna get countered and you're gonna get hurt. So the first thing you have to do is faint your way in. You gotta get your opponent to shell up, right? How do you get your opponent to shell up? Well, the main one is fainting, right? You're gonna use feints to hopefully, the feint brings in the reaction, then boom, I go right to the hands. So the feint brings you right into the hand control. So feint, grab. But a lot of times, that's not enough to get someone to shell up that way. So you gotta start throwing your strikes. So you might whip some punches, whip a hard one, two feint, and then go in, right? That's the key. So using good feints or good strikes to get your opponent to shell up. And in this way here, as you can see, you get that shell position, boom. And that's what we want to get to. That's the key to the hand fighting, getting there. Now, we're all using MMA gloves in this video because one, you know, we want to use our fingers, but these tactics can almost be done with kickboxing as well. I come in and I kind of press my opponent's hand slightly into their center line. Okay, I want to press them slightly in here. So when I'm in here now, I can use hand pinning and hand fighting techniques, okay? So the main thing here now, when landing strikes from this hand pin and the hand fighting, okay, first thing you're gonna notice is, one, you have the option to go left, so I can angle, shuffle, land my uppercut. But with the hand fighting, watch Matt here, we're staying connected, right? So I get this shell here, I pin and I still hold on to this wrist, boom, and I can hit with that hand, okay? So that's one of the easier ways. Now the other way I can come from here is I can pin the other hand and go the opposite direction, right? It's that inside kind of lateral angled shuffles that we're good at, right? That peekaboo Mike Tyson style, right? When you're in here, hand pin, boom. You're in here, hand pin, boom. So you're hand pinning to take the safe angle, right? If you don't hand pin and you take an angle, you're open to those shots. So getting that hand pin, the hand grab, is just gonna help you get to that angle safer, okay? So when you put it all together, as you see Matt, he's fainting, maybe throwing some strikes to get the shell. Once he gets the shell, safely grabs the hands and the wrists. From here, he can hand pin and keep grabbing, okay? So that is one. Now, from this position too, right, one of my favorite ways is once I have control of the hands, using the push off to attack the calf, to attack the leg. I can push off head kick, push off body kick. But from that hand control, right, I'm gonna keep pushing them backwards, give them a little shove off. As they move backwards, they can't block the kick. Boom, smack that leg, okay? So that's tactic number two. So we got the shell, we got the hands, angled shuffled on the one. Second one here, you grab the hands, push off, and two. Now you can keep mixing because you have the hands. I might angle, shuffle, attack, grab the wrists again, then push off and kick. So you can mix and match these different strikes from hand fighting you know, as much as you want, okay? Now another way that I like to use the striking, okay, is I might grab the first time like we just showed, right? Now, the second time I go to grab, I might fake to grab and then boom, boom, punch down the middle. Okay, as soon as you start grabbing someone's wrist, the reaction is almost to put the hands out. So if I fake to grab and then shoot, is a beautiful way to annoy someone. So first time grab them, you know, you play the game. Boom, keep the wrists, control. Second time go to grab, boom, drive a strike down the middle, okay? So very easy. Now, 
on top of that, right, you can play with which hand you grab with. I might faint, grab one wrist, boom, punch down the middle. Grab the other wrist, boom, punch down the middle, right? Grabbing one wrist and shooting the other straight down the middle. Grab the wrist, boom. Grab the wrist, boom. Grab both wrists, boom. Okay? I could even hold both wrists, take one off and punch, take one off and punch. Boom. So I always have one control of one hand, and the other one strikes, I go right back. Then from this tactics, I can play around with which direction I want to change and I want to attack with. Okay? So let's give a little quick review here what we have. I need to get the shell in order to use hand fighting techniques. Okay? Now, once I get the nice shell, I'm going to grab the wrist with a safe entry, okay? I can use feints with my legs any which way I want. From the safe entry, right, I'm going to grab. I'm going to take an angle and an attack. Boom. Right? Keep control. I can push off, attack the calf, the leg, the body, the head. Push off attacks. If you've been following my channel, you should be well aware of what push off attacks are, okay? Now, once you have the push off attack all set up, then you can feint the double grab, grab one wrist, shoot the other, boom, and keep grabbing. But a big key to good hand fighting is pressure, okay? You have to keep pressuring your partner or your opponent backwards. It's very hard for them to be able to counter when you're pushing them back and they're trying to hit you. It becomes very difficult, okay? So always having control of the hands and this will help you in many different ways that you're fighting. You gotta think from here, if you're a good wrestler, like getting those hands and watch different like takedown entries, right? If you're an MMA fighter, you can grab one wrist, kind of do an arm drag, play with the control, boom. You can play with different techniques from this, but ultimately, one, you're setting up offense where they can't hit you, okay? And two, right? You're controlling any counter punches, the range of the fight. Those who control the range of the fight tend to do better. If you're gonna control range, you don't wanna get hit, control their hands and makes it safe, all right? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I want you to keep liking, subscribing, and sharing, and make sure you support the channel by going to Hayabusa Fight to check out all of their gear. These are their hybrid MMA gloves. Perfect gloves to train for MMA because of the extra padding and they're seven ounces, perfect. The, the fight gloves are nice, but you don't want to be training and hurting your partners with them. Plus these have that double wrist protection that the T3s have. So perfect for MMA training and sparring, okay? We also have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20. Gets you 20% off your supplements. My favorite, branch chain amino acids and the protein. That's a daily staple for me. And last but not least, bazookatraining.com. For only $9.99 a month, you're getting brand new videos every single Monday, plus an archive of over 200 videos for you to study and practice, okay? We got home workouts, bag workouts, tutorials, sparring drills. So any environment you have, we have videos for it. But I highly recommend you watch them all to learn the language, the concepts, the curriculum. Just going to help you be a better mixed martial artist. All right? Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section 
where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.